Tamika and a number of her siblings reside in a domain awarded to their sire years ago, Prospect Park. She's known to be the most rational and cool-headed of her ilk, but don't let your guard down. She's very likely to have a unique way of appraising your worth. You should be prepared for an interesting conversation at the very least. You should definitely make Tamika's acquaintance. If you're not opposed to fiercely independent individuals, that is. Agathon is another intriguing individual you might want to meet. He is a Tremere. They are a powerful clan of blood sorcerers. Disliked by many, but feared and respected by many more. I hear you can usually find him in a workshop masquerading as a New Age bookstore out on Broadway. Agathon is quite the scholar, very ambitious, the child of an important figure for the clan here in New York. He is sure to be adept at using blood, his own as well as others. You're curious to hear about D'Angelo? I can't blame you. He's quite the character. He's one of the Nosferatu, a uniquely cursed clan. Their appearance is hideous and obviously unnatural. No wonder they make their havens in sewers or abandoned buildings. Like the Red Hook grain terminal in D'Angelo's case. He isn't as big an eyesore as the worst of them, but he is no Adonis either. Still, he has some talents and connections that you might find useful. D'Angelo enjoys digging up dirt and locating kindred who would prefer to remain hidden. Let me tell you about Hope. Malkavians, like her, have long been derided as lunatics. We now understand it's no insanity, but a unique gift of perception. I have it on good authority that she can currently be found in an internet cafe in Lower Manhattan. Hope is considered to be uniquely talented and tapped into current mortal fads. Having her as your companion might be a true test of patience at times, but her insight and intuition might make it up to you. If you're up for a challenge, give Hope a shot.